ആൽക്കഹോൾ അബ്ലേഷൻ ഓഫ് വെയിൻ ഓഫ് മാർഷൽ ഫോർ പെർസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ഏട്രൽ ഫിബ്രലേഷൻ വെയിൻ ഓഫ് മാർഷൽ ഈസ് എ ട്രിബ്യൂട്ടറി ഓഫ് ദി കൊറോണറി സൈനസ് വിത്ത് അബണ്ടൻറ്റ് സിമ്പത്തറ്റിക് ആൻഡ് പാരാസിമ്പത്തറ്റിക് ഇന്നോവേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് ബീൻ ഇംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദ ജനസിസ് ആൻഡ് മെയിൻറ്റനൻസ് ഓഫ് ഏട്രൽ ഫിബ്രലേഷൻ Three reasons described are the myocardial extensions into the structure, node-like remnants within the vein and the rich autonomic innervation surrounding it. It is anatomically related to the mitral isthmus. Mitral isthmus is the region between the left inferior pulmonary vein ostium and the mitral annulus. Oblique vein of Marshall is the residue of the embryonic left superior cardinal vein. Though pulmonary vein isolation is effective in the treatment of paroxysmal atrial fibrillation, the role in persistent atrial fibrillation is suboptimal. A common form of ablation failure is recurrence as perimitral flutter. Vein of Marshall is in the re-entrant circuit of perimitral flutter and vein of martial ablation can abolish perimitral flutter effect on sympathetic and parasympathetic innervation is another important aspect of vein of martial ablation venous trial enrolled patients undergoing their first catheter ablation for af while mars af enrolled patients undergoing ablation after previous ablation failure Both were National Heart, Lung and Blood Institute funded randomized controlled trials. The trials were to test the safety and efficacy of vein of martial ethanol infusion added to pulmonary vein isolation in patients undergoing either de novo ablation of persistent AF or after a previous ablation failure. Venus trial was a single blinded trial conducted at 12 centers in the United States. 158 patients were assigned to catheter ablation alone and 185 patients to combine catheter ablation with vein of martial ethanol infusion. Higher number of patients were randomized to vein of martial ethanol infusion to accommodate for the possibility of 15% technical failure. Vein of Marshall procedure was done prior to catheter ablation. Vein of Marshall was identified by coronary sinus venography. If the vein of Marshall was present, the vein was cannulated with an angioplasty wire and over the wire balloon. Ethanol infusion was given distilled to an inflated balloon. A bolus injection can reach the left atrium. 1 ml of 98% ethanol was delivered over 2 minutes up to 4 infusions from distal to proximal were given depending on the size of vein of marshal after ethanol injection a repeat voltage map was obtained to identify the ethanol induced scar vein of marshal ethanol infusion was successfully delivered in 155 of the 185 patients freedom from af or atrial tachycardia was 49.2% in vein of marshal plus catheter ablation group versus 38% in catheter ablation alone group the assessment was based on absence of these events on monitoring at 6 months and 12 months mars af trial did not show significant benefit in those with previous failed af ablation There were 80 patients across 11 centers in this trial. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.